Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf delivering her final State of the City address tonight, but she says her work is not done just yet. I am not happy with the state of public safety, with homelessness, with cleanliness of the city, and I will work on those things to my last second. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf took to the stage tonight in the Fruitvale District for her final State of the City address. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach. The mayor looked back on her eight years, what the city has achieved, and where it can still improve. KTV's Jenna Katsuyama here in studio with the mayor's message. Jenna. Mike and Julie, one thing that was really obvious in her speech is Mayor Schaff repeatedly said she did not want to take credit herself, but talked about her administration as a team. And she featured one Oakland woman's family as an example of how her team has tried to create a better life for Oakland residents through community partnerships. What an honor it's been to be your mayor for eight and I'll be honest, long years. <laughs> Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf began her final State of the City speech by going back to her Oakland roots in the Fruitvale District, where she says she began her political service in 1999. That a mayor is not a singular person. A mayor is an amazing team. Schaaf said her team's successes have been built on community partnerships over her two terms. She pointed to the Casa Arabella housing development on the site of a former BART parking lot, and she gave a key to the city to the namesake, community leader Arabella Martinez. So the biggest lesson that Arabella taught me was the power of partnerships. Schaaf said she recognizes the problems Oakland still faces. Crime homelessness, and the rising cost of living. She says she has confidence Oakland's ceasefire strategy will help reduce crime, but she did not address police staffing shortages. On homelessness, Schaff said her administration built strong new programs and services. And in the last five years, we have quadrupled Oakland's shelter capacity. And we've added more dignified options. The cabin community model. And she said the city has made great gains in affordable housing. In the last eight years, we have created almost 20,000 new homes in Oakland. Schaff also pointed to public private partnerships, as well as the Oakland Innovation Fund, which has helped create new pilot programs. Schaff pointed to Tiffany Lascado's family, who has moved into a home and new business thanks to the programs. So I'm just one story, but there are many stories in Oakland um, that are very similar to ours. All of these programs were new innovations. Lascado says she feels that is really the role of government to listen and respond to people's needs. Oakland. We love you. It has been the honor of a lifetime to serve as your mayor, and thank you. Mayor Schaff also said she's proud of the Oakland Promise and Generation Fund scholarship programs, as well as the Oakland A's waterfront ballpark deal that was signed during her tenure. She says she wants to remain in public service after term as mayor, but she would not say exactly what that might be. Mike. And Jenna, based on what we heard tonight, it seems that the mayor believes the city is in a better place today compared to where we were eight years ago when she first took office. She does. She said that she owns any of the mistakes, any of the problems that uh, the city is having with violence, with crime, and with homelessness. But she feels like it's setting it, uh, the city's kind of set off on a good track right now. And she really focused on that innovation program, which is very new, where it allows the community to try out pilot programs to see if they work and then scale them up. So she hopes that continues. All right. Jenna Katsuyama live here in studio with us. Jenna, thank you. Starting the 